Hello everyone, I am Khanam. This is my sixth video in React series and in this video we are going to learn about JSX elements. JSX elements is nothing but this one whatever you can see here. This is the code we have written in our previous tutorial. Okay, this we have seen in our previous video hello world program. Okay, this what we have written that is called as JSX elements. Okay, JSX stands for JavaScript extension or you can also tell JavaScript syntax XML or JavaScript extension. Okay, this code which is looking like HTML, it is actually not HTML, it is called as Okay, when you are using this JSX elements, okay, you have to import this React module and React must be in scope when we are using this JSX elements. Okay, this is the output we got last time hello world output. Now, if you see here Babel, I have already told in previous tutorial. Okay, if you just write the code, whatever expression, whatever JSX you are writing this one, this will be converting like this. Okay, first it is going to create this H1 element and it will be passing the text and you will be getting this output. Okay, behind the scene, Babel, Babel is nothing but it is a JavaScript compiler. Behind the scene, Babel will convert the code in such a way that it will be understood by the browser and we will be getting the output. Okay, Babel will come once we create our app and once we import this one, Babel will run automatically. We will be converting our code. Okay, this is all about JSX elements. Now, if I want to uh, just print one more, I'll just give here heading H2. And inside this, if I write here, hello, how are you? I'll save this. Now, you can see I'm getting the error. And now, if I show you the output, you can see I'm getting the error. And inside this error, it is telling me that JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. And did you want to, okay, it will give a suggestion that did you mean this one, okay, this whatever you can see, you, did you mean this one JSX fragment? Yes, I mean that one JSX elements should be wrapped inside the parent element. You can either wrap inside this diff, okay, we used to wrap all the containers inside the diff itself when we were coding inside HTML, okay, I'll just wrap this one here. I'll just copy this diff and I'll be wrapping it here. I'll save this. Now you can see I don't have any error. Now if I just refresh this one, I'll be getting the output. Hello world. Hello. How are you? Okay. I got the output. But the problem with this is if I inspect this one and if I come to elements, I'll just increase the font size. Now in my elements, you will see here, okay, inside the body. I have this div which is having this root and inside this div one more div has been created. You can see inside this div one more div has been created because I have wrapped this inside this div container and this div container whatever code I am writing that will be accessed that will be stored inside this root container and this root is present inside my index.html file. You can see here I have this container and inside this whatever code I am writing here that will be stored inside this div container itself. Okay, if I am wrapping my JSX element inside this div, okay, inside my DOM, you can see here inside my elements, one more div will be created and I will be having this output. Okay, I don't need this one. Okay, I don't need one extra div container inside this div. So, for that we have, if I just don't wrap this, by default it is, it will give me a suggestion. If I just don't wrap this, I will be getting this suggestion. You can see here, did you want a JSX fragment? Yes, I want that. So we can wrap like this. Okay, this is called a syntactic sugar from JSX fragment. Now, if I refresh this one, you can see here I'll be getting this output. Hello world and how are you? But now inside my body, inside this div, you can see I am directly having this output H1 and H2. I don't have any extra div here. Okay, so this is very useful. We have to wrap all our JSX into a parent and we are going to wrap inside this one. Okay, this is nothing but it is called as JSX fragment. We have this full form like this react dot fragment. I'll just copy this one and here I'm going to close it here instead of this I'll be pasting it here. Now if I refresh this one you can see I'll be getting the output and inside body inside div I don't have any div container and it is being wrapped properly. Okay instead of writing this react dot fragment okay we are just going to use this syntactic sugar form and we will be getting the output without getting any error. You can see I got the output okay that's all about JSX elements. In our next tutorial we are going to create simple shopping list we are just going to revise whatever we have learned till now. Only thing you have to remember is when you want to use JSX inside our project, then you have to import React. 
okay only then we can use this one we have this new version 17.0.2 you can see inside package.json i have the 17.0.2 version now inside this version it we have the new update if we don't write this one i'll save this now if i refresh this one you can see still i'll be getting the output okay in the new version i am having this one okay this is the new update but still it is recommended that you have to write this one okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day